I, I think it's important that we remember the sacrifices they made. Um, whatever your view on conflicts and wars is they did what they think was right at the time. They made the sacrifices that they think were right so that we could live in freedom. <laughs> brotherhood of, of soldiers who have served. I, um, I got very emotional when I used to see the bodies coming home from Afghanistan going through, uh, going through the Burton Dasset, uh, uh, Wooden Bassett, sorry, because they were my brothers, you know. We'd, we'd all gone through the same mill, we'd all gone through basic training, we'd all ch chewed some of the same dirt and experienced the same fear. And what bound us together was, was the comradeship, the brotherhood. First day of the Somme, complete battalions of pals were wiped out, so complete towns Salford was in mourning for years after because their menfolk were simply wiped out. You know, they didn't come back, you know. So, and that was a complete town, lost all its menfolk in their prime age, you know. These people simply got out their trenches and walked. Some of them were smoking pipes because they thought they just had to walk. And they were mown down. So it's the enormity, the scale of it. William died, nobody knew where he was buried. He, you know, his name is on a memorial to the missing because he didn't, his body was never found. There were 75,000 people killed in that conflict on that particular sector, his bodies were never found. Go to Manchester United on a home game, that's the number of people. He didn't join until later. He didn't join in 1914 at the Rush, he joined in 1915. Did he join because he felt pressured to? Did he join because the wives of the other people in Salford were giving him white feathers? I don't know. They had five children. Uh, two of them died. The picture you have of, my, of William and his wife, you'll notice that Isabella is in black because she was in mourning for a child she'd lost. And after she, she lost William, she lost another child. So two of her five children uh, died. I think that everyone should have a look into their own family tree because I would guarantee everyone would have a relative who enlisted and fought and died in World War One.